Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw this umbrella. Let's open a new document. Here is the color group I'm using for this project. Select the rectangular grid tool and single click on the artboard. Set the number of the horizontal and vertical dividers to 7. Click OK. Change the stroke to a different color and resize the grid. Let's place it in the center. Now lock the layer with the grid and create a new layer. Change the stroke to black and increase the weight to 4 points. Next select the arc tool. Click on this intersection, hold and drag. Place your cursor over this intersection and click on it to create an arc. Make sure the line is selected. Now press the letter R for the Rotate tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Click on this anchor point to set the rotation point. Now click on this arc, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press and hold down the ALT key to create a copy. Be sure the copied arc crosses at this intersection. Zoom in and turn on the outline mode. Click on the arc again and move it to this intersection. Turn off the outline mode and zoom out. With the arc still selected, press the letter C for the scissors tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now click on this intersection to create a cut. Switch to the selection tool and select the bottom portion of the arc. Now press the delete key on your keyboard. Select both arcs. Press the letter O for the reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Now press and hold down the ALT key and when you see the small dots next to the cursor, click on this intersection to set the reflect point. Be sure the axis is set to the vertical position and then click copy. Next press the letter P to switch to the pen tool and draw a straight vertical line. Click away to deselect. Now draw a straight horizontal line from this anchor point to this one. Next press the plus sign on your keyboard to switch to the add anchor point tool or select it from the toolbar panel. Click on this intersection to add an extra anchor point. Now repeat this with the other intersections. Switch to the direct selection tool and select every other anchor point. Now press the up arrow key on your keyboard to move them up. Click on one of the round corner widgets and drag it all the way down. Select everything, change the cap to round cap and the corner to round join. Let's lock layer 2. We can turn off the visibility of the grid layer. Now create a new layer. Move it between layer 1 and layer 2. Next we'll create a shaft. Switch to the pen tool and draw a straight vertical line. Let's change the weight to 9 points. Click away to deselect. Now create a few straight lines for the handle and increase the stroke weight to 19 points. Click away to deselect. Switch to the direct selection tool and select these two bottom anchor points. Now round the corners. Let's zoom in. Select this long line and then go to the width tool. Click somewhere along this path, hold and drag. Try to keep the existing width of the stroke. Now click on the top anchor point, hold and drag.
drag inward to create a spike. Let's select layer 3 and create a new layer. Press the Shift and tilde keys on your keyboard to switch to the Curvature tool. Open the Swatches panel and choose Dark Yellow. Swap the fill in the stroke and be sure the fill is on top. Now create a shape that will follow the contour of the first segment. Single click on this intersection, single click somewhere here, double click on this anchor point to create a sharp corner, single click here, double click here, single click here, and double click on the starting point to create a sharp corner. If you need to adjust any of the anchor points, click on it and move. Be sure the yellow shape is selected. Now press the letter R for the Rotate tool and click on the top anchor point to set the rotation point. Now click on the yellow shape, hold and drag. While you are dragging your mouse, press the Alt key as well to create a copy. Be sure both yellow shapes are selected and then go to the Shape Builder tool. Press and hold down the ALT key to get the minus symbol next to the cursor and click on this part to delete it. Select this part and change its color to light yellow. Open the sublayers of layer 4 and lock these two shapes. Select another color and create the next segment. So like we did before, switch to the Curvature tool and follow the contour of the next segment. Next create a copy and rotate it. Using the Direct Selection tool, click on this anchor point and bring it down so there is no white gaps showing. Select both shapes and remove the unwanted part. Next go back to layers and unlock the yellow shapes. Select all shapes and reflect them to the other side. Now apply different colors. Unlock layer 3 and 2. If you need to shorten the handle, first switch to the Direct Selection tool, select all anchor points of the handle and using the up arrow key on your keyboard move them up. Select the top anchor point and move it down. Let's select everything and rotate it. Scale it up. Finally, select the Ellipse tool, swap the fill and the stroke and draw a long and narrow ellipse. Change the color to light grey. Right click, choose Arrange and Send to Back. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.